shining sea of light, shining bright in the sky. Got my family with me, and it's a beautiful day. If life is a bed of roses, I'll be sitting on a bed of gold. Let me tell ya, it's not the way it goes. Oh, not the way it goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't take what you can give. What you sow is what you reap. Time and time it's turning to you. Back to back to you. You should have told me. No, no, but I went to my husband's house now. There was nobody there. Everywhere was empty. What is happening? You see, Auntie, it's a long story. Uh, you need to sit down first. Come and sit down. You came here for Come. come Where is my husband? Come, come and sit down first. Auntie, should I get you water? You came here for now. Where is my husband? Asking for his equity, peace, and harmony. But Olivia, that is what I've been doing since I got married into this family. No. No, no, no. You can't call what is happening right now peace. My eldest brother, your brother in law, is lying helpless in the village, and you call that peace. 
I believe that Nemesis caught up with him is and that he's reaping what he sowed. Honestly, yes. All right, I am not here to argue with you. I'm not arguing with you, my sister. No, I'm <laughs> not. He needs help. There's enough money in the family. But it seems like you've decided to let him rough like an orphan. But Auntie, he, he didn't leave us with any money. Darling, your opinion is not needed in this matter. No, Olivia, don't say that. Her opinion does matter. Don't forget that she's your late brother's daughter, your niece. And besides, I have done all that I can possibly do for Imizu. I've paid for his hospital bills, paid for more than enough drugs that will last him for as long as he's in the village, giving him more than enough money to take care of himself in the village. What more do you want me to do for a man who locked I and my daughters out of our family home? What do you want me to do? Ask around. I have... In fact, I and my daughters have done more than enough. Brother Bet, thank you for the rice and chicken. <laughs> you know what? You're going to bring us here tomorrow. You go carry us come here tomorrow. I just to tell you. Well, it depends. On what? I need a curious number. <laughs> Wait. Did you just mean what she said now? I'm a me too I surprised though, because you know they do girlfriend, girlfriend. All in they do now cut and cut. I like her. And I want to keep her. You don't seem to say Inkiru they swim for money, Abby. Well, seriously. That aside, I do like her. Um, but the babe no go easy, yo. Because when we they school, and our so boys they toast them, they toast them. But the babe no grill. Huh. You know go easy, shao. Well, wait, so. If you say the babe don't soft now. Well, you know what I We no go fi give you her number. But we go link him up with you. Well, I have no problem with that. As long as it doesn't take time. All right. I beg the earlier you. the better. All right. Take Let's go. Hey. It means we're lying critically ill in the village. Yes, sir. You said the landlord has taken possession of the house because he couldn't pay his rights. Huh? Auntie, there is nothing I didn't tell that wicked landlord that day. I even went to the extent of prostrating on the floor for him, but he kicked me away. I had no other option than to, you know, leave him. And I just oh, left him. What about our property? Uh, he took everything, all. Eh? All. Hmm. I'm going to his house. Eh? Do you know his village? Which village? I'm going to where he lives. <laughs> and you are behind news. The man has relocated to his village long ago. He no longer lives here in the city. He no longer lives here in Lagos. Hmm. Allah go village. Allah go. Okay, take me to Yemi's house. Eh? What is eh? I said you should take me to where she lives in Asim eh? Circle of interest. Circle of interest. Listen, my brother will not be in this state now if you had listened to my advice and taken things easy like I earlier suggested. He forced my hands, Olivia. He single-handedly took over my late husband's company, a company he knew nothing about. So I had to act. Besides, do you know that he served me with a fake court restraining order? That's not the issue right now. Oh. So what's the issue? What? Whatever you do, whatever you get to. Where do we that? Just know what you have now. Whatever you do, wherever you get to, just What now? Come on, come on, get away. Why are they doing it? What? What? Hey, Major, go and no. What is? What in the audience one now? Eh?
Make God know around these people. Come pursue me, come out from where are they chop oh. Instead of done enough for your brother. Uh -uh. Done enough for me, Yes. Uh, uh, auntie. Auntie. Uh, uh, don't auntie me at all. You have succeeded in turning my husband into a vegetable. Okay? Okay. Auntie, I did no such thing. And she was busy claiming that she didn't have any money to help. She me. didn't say there is no money. She just said she has done enough. Ilan Bada. She has done enough of what? <laughs> eh? You have done enough of what? Mm. I'm here. Tell me. Listen, Auntie. It's unfortunate that what happened to Emezwe did. But he brought it up on himself. Yes, he did. How? By taking over property that wasn't his. He took over our properties. Ah, shut up! Michelle Mon. Chinedu did not leave any will behind. And my husband, as the older brother, has to arrange everything until it is properly kept. That is the tradition. That is how it is done. I am not a child that will be taken care of by anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not a child to be taken care of. Mommy, in the first, how could he even take care of us? Why he couldn't take care of his business and his family? Oh! oh you have also brainwashed this one. Obviously! I don't care to mark it. swear. Anyway, I have come to take you back to the village. Yes! Both of us will relocate to the village to take care of my husband. Perfect. Mm. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, oh. <laughs> my mom is going nowhere. Says who? <laughs> No, quite well that um, Auntie Obegri is not a troublemaker. Just uh, give her money so she can go and take care of her husband, her brother who is sick in the village. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's the only way out. Yes, and the money has to be substantial. Um, something close or above a million naira. Yeah. A million kini. Naira. <laughs> are the both of you insane? Excuse me. You are actually asking me. To reward a miserable for all the atrocities he's committed against I and my daughters? No way. I won't do that. Okay. Are you uh, trying to say or trying to insinuate uh -huh. that you won't give Aunt Obegali any money? I will not. Yes, I won't. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how this plays out. Selfish fool. You don't understand what? She wants to keep all the money to herself. We shall see how that works out. Make sure you don't wait. Stay here. Let's see how she will enjoy that money peacefully. Oh, whenever, man. Good. I'll call you later. Sit tight. Oh. It's all right. Uh, just uh, make it five hundred thousand naira. Uh, the money won't be enough, but I, uh, uh, you know. I am not going to give her more than a hundred thousand naira. Are you okay? Uh, well, Are you a thief? Well, you tried, but uh, that's all that to smoke. Uh huh. Uh, you know that money will finish in a week time. Okay. Uh, things are costly in the village. I am not adding a dime to that money. And one more thing, listen. Hmm? Go and warn her. Warn her, go that I will throw her out with policemen if she stays one more hour underneath my roof. I will throw her out. I want her. Just make it 200,000 there. Make sure. Oh, Bala. I'm going to tell you now, you're speaking. You're back. You're back in, you're back in. No problem. I don't know what to do with nonsense. Let's discuss outside. Good. I'm outside. Oh, she sent you to take me outside so that she will lock me out, okay? 
Auntie, you know yeah. Yenisi cannot do a thing like that. I just want us to discuss outside. You came here for now. Yeah, Auntie. Sit down. Uh. I'm listening. Um, well, Auntie, I understand their point. Brother Mezu is your husband. But he's equally my brother. That's why I'm trying to, you know, resolve uh, this uh, problem. Um, <coughs> I have convinced her to give you How much? 80,000. 80 guineas? <laughs> ah, what is that one for? Is it for food or for his medicine? Auntie, bring down your voice, huh? You see, I just uh, take this money and go. Uh, when that one is exhausted, you'll come find another one. Huh? Naya, I will not leave this house if Yemisi does not give me 500,000 Naira. 500,000? Yes! Hey, uh, uh, Auntie, I will leave you and go, to my, uh, go back to my house. I, I'm just here trying to save an ugly situation and you're you you proving stubborn. Look, let me tell you. Yemisi will use the police to throw you out if you don't collect the money. Hey. Come out now you have told me what she's planning. Oh, she wants to call the police. Okay. I am ready for her and that police. Hmm. Hmm? Today she will know my true color. Today she will know that Emmys will paid my dowry in a psychiatric hospital. Hmm. Whatever you do, wherever you get to, just know there's a circle of interest Whatever you do, wherever you get to Just know there's a circle of interest Whatever you do, wherever oh, you get to Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? <sighs> Uncle, if I tell you I am fine, then I'm lying. What is the problem? It's about my sister-in-law, Yemisi. <laughs> um, Auntie, you see, brother, Yemisi will sickness me. Surely Watson, if he has that, you'll be locked up in a police cell. Just accept her offer. Take the money. Have her children that she will give you more when that one is exhausted. I know Yemisi. She's a very nice woman. I know her too well. I know her. I'm a boy. 100,000. Uh, uh, thank you. Huh? Auntie? Let's look. Uh, Auntie, let's go. Dan. Dan, let's go. Circle of interest. Like I said, you got sharp, sharp. I'm going to move. Circle of interest. I know how to do it. Circle of interest. Let us move. All things have passed away. I'm thinking something could be done traditionally to compare her. <laughs> you see? You see now? You have come to my point again. That would have been possible if Yemisi was from our place. Then she would, have, she would have been placed or we would place her in her proper place. But how can you do that when Yemisi does not have respect for our tradition? Hmm? I feel court is the only solution. Court? Unless, and if you ask to me, I will also suggest that. <laughs> Take what you can 
Time and time it's turning to you Back to, back to love 